Hey, what's up reefers? If you have ever done any research on keeping frogfish in an aquarium, you would most definitely have come across this monster threat on Reef Central called the Frogfish Files. This threat went on from 2003 to 2007, and this video is my head tip to all the frogfish owners who have shared the experience there or anywhere else online. Stuff like this really helped new frogfish owners like me to take better care of our unique pets. I have done a few videos on my frogfish mochi, and since then I have received quite a few private messages about keeping a frogfish. I aim to answer a few of the most frequently asked questions with this video, and they are number one, what is a frogfish tank requirement? Number two, what do you feed them and how often? And number three, where could I buy one? Now one thing to keep in mind is that the information that I am sharing with you here is mostly from my personal experience and what I read online. I am just a fellow hobbyist that happens to make YouTube video. So please be sure to do additional research and also fact check some of the stuff that I am telling you about here today. If you have contradictory information, please be sure to share it as a comment below so we can all learn together. I am never shy to admit when I am wrong. With that said, let's go. Number one, what is a frogfish tank requirement? First, I will assume that you are looking to keep one of the more popular and smaller species, the wadi frogfish, which is what mochi is, or the painted frogfish. The wadi gets around five inches in length and is usually white and maroon or yellow and maroon in color. The painted gets to around six inches and while they usually show up as orange, their color could morph based on surrounding. Most online article recommends at least a 20 gallon species only tank for one of these guys. And from observing Mochi's behavior, I agree with this assessment. Mochi is around 3 inches long, and on most days he will just walk 1 or 2 laps around the tank if he is hungry. For the most part, he just sits and waits. After all, Frogfish is an ambush hunter. A 20 gallon tank should be fine as long as you could maintain water quality. Now, if you somehow scored yourself a different species of frogfish, then it may be a totally different story. For example, the Commerson frogfish grows to a size of a football. In terms of filtration, frogfish eats quite a bit, so the filtration needs to be on point. In Mochi's setup, I went with a high door nano skimmer in the back chamber, and I would also use a filter pad once in a while to polish the water. The skimmer I got is not too efficient, so I rely heavily on my weekly 10% water change and monthly 25% water change. Usually, on a smaller tank, you could get away with no skimmer and just rely on water change if you can stay on top of it. I also have a few marine pure spheres in the back chamber in order to host beneficial bacteria since my rockscape is pretty minimum for the tank this size. In terms of water circulation, while in a pinch, frogfish could swim pretty strongly, they much prefer to crawl along the rockwork or float gently from place to place. So be sure not to blast the tank with powerheads like you would a SPS tank. Mochi could handle direct flow from a powerhead, but he usually just passes through those strong flow areas and never linger there too long. Lastly, do yourself a huge favor and get an auto top-off system. It will keep your tank's water parameter stable. The Smart ATO Nano is a nice choice for a small footprint and plug and play setup. I will add the link to it and the water container that I use in the video description below. Number 2. What do you feed your frogfish and how often? Feeding is arguably the toughest part of owning a frogfish, but also the most exciting. Just a quick heads up, if you are a fan of damselfish, you may want to look away from the video and just listen to the audio in this section. Ideally, you will want to wean your frogfish onto frozen food, but some frogfish simply never accept frozen. So you have to be prepared that you may need to feed live food to your frogfish for its entire life. For mochi, freshwater ghost shrimp is a stable. Ghost shrimp itself holds almost no nutritional value, so I would gut load them no more than 30 minutes before I feed the shrimps to mochi. For gut loading the shrimp, I use a variety of high quality fish food like Prime Reef Flakes, PE Mysis Pellets, TDO Chroma Boost. At the moment, I feed Mochi one medium sized live ghost shrimp a day, or a large ghost shrimp every other day. Once every other week, I would also feed Mochi a damsel fish. 
I prefer small to medium sized domino or four stripe stamp so because the top ray seems short and softer. If you see a yellow tailed blue damn so flares out its fins, man, those top rays look pretty long and sharp. Also be careful not to keep any tank mate that is similarly sized as the frogfish. I have heard of a frogfish trying to eat a long nosed hawkfish around the same size of himself and this ended up killing both of them. Quite a few people have suggested feeding freshwater feeder fish. I am still a bit on the fence because I've read that they have completely different nutritional composition compared to marine feeder fish. And that marine fish eating freshwater fish may result in fatty liver. Now this may be old information. I will include the link to where I read this from in the video description below. Although a benefit of feeding freshwater feeder fish is that the freshwater parasite do not translate to marine, where feeding damsels may run the risk of introducing diseases and parasites into the drop off tank. This is one area that we would love to hear your thought. Is it okay to feed freshwater feeder fish to marine fish? Number 3. Where could I buy a frogfish? It took me about 3 months to find mochi. I checked live at Courier's Diver Stand every day at 6pm and I saw 3 painted frogfish and 1 wadi frogfish during this period. Somebody else got the wadi before I was able to and the wadi was going for $199 while the painted frogfish was going for $150 on Diver Stand. I checked with my local fish store and they quoted me $250 for a fully quarantined wadi frogfish. I was ready to go this route but decided to give it another month before I pulled the trigger. And this whole time I posted my progress on looking for a frogfish on my Instagram account and someone actually tipped me off on a wadi frogfish for sale in Michigan for $150 shipped. That was how I found mochi. It was a lot of patience and a whole lot of luck. If I were to do it again, I would definitely get the words out on social media and online forums and I would let people know that I am looking for a frogfish because you never know who may have seen a frogfish for sale locally and they could hook you up. At the same time, I would check Diver Stand religiously at 6pm and be ready to buy as soon as one becomes available because these guys are pretty popular. And these guys also seem to be seasonal. You just have to be patient and eventually you will find one. Also leave a comment below and let me know if you are looking for one. I can definitely keep my eyes open for you. Alright reefers, while there are a few more things I would like to share, we will have to tackle those in a future video. I hope this video about the frogfish has been informative and helpful. If you have a frogfish or kept a frogfish, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment and let me know how long have you had your frogfish, what you feed him, and what kind of setup is he in. Now with that said, have a great week and I will see you guys next Sunday at 9.30am shop.